getting started with today's topic, which is DR in the cloud. I think uh, I think this topic came from my good friend Tunde over on, I'm not sure it was LinkedIn or Twitter, but if you want to suggest a CTO Daily Dose, hashtag CTO Daily Dose, and we'll see if we can fit the topic in. But today's topic is DR in the cloud, and whether or not, one, we need DR in the cloud, and if we do need DR in the cloud, how do we do it? So let's talk about what we do to, in today's data center. So whether we do this at the application layer or at the storage layer, the basic concept is that we have two sites, a primary data center, secondary data center. We can get fancy and say that we have an active passive, active active, that's not really relevant. What, but the basic concept is that we have some type of rep replication, whether it's storage replication or application replication, where we get the data from a primary data center. Let's say I'm in Chicago and I want geographic uh, protection, so I might have a data center on the west coast, so in California and San Francisco. I'd replicate data from Chicago to San Francisco. If my primary data center fails, then I can fail over all of my data and applications are stored in San Francisco. The big question becomes, well, do we want to do this in the cloud? And if so, how does it look? We can get really complex in the physical design of this uh, setup. In the cloud, all of that is abstracted away. We don't have the concept of a primary data center. Most cloud providers have this concept of an availability zone or a region. So within a region, we may have a, a conceptually, we might have Let's take AWS, for example, we'll have the Virginia uh, region. And then within the Virginia region, we might have several availability zones within the Virginia region. In that availability zone, we might have a primary set of data. We can replicate that data within the same availability zone to other availability zones so that we have tertiary or secondary copies of our system data. Again, this can be done at the, the simply by saying we're going to replicate the object storage from one availability zone to another availability zone, or we're going to do uh, application level replication. Same technical approach that we would take in the data center. The question is why? Why would we even want to do that? This is Amazon, they stay up all the time, right? right? Not necessarily. The Amazon has different availability zones within a region because something can physically happen to one of those uh, data centers within that availability zone, zone. Let's say that power is lost in the primary availability zone and you didn't replicate your or dispose your rope workload across availability zones and now you're just down. The, the, the region may be up as a whole, but the one availability zone within that region is up, is down. I don't consider that disaster recovery. That's more of a uh, HA solution. Within your data center, you might have a super important Oracle database. So in your data center, you might cluster that database across multiple hosts so that if a physical host fit, one physical host fails, your database stays available. That's the same concept, basically, than one availability zone or in one uh, data center, if an availability zone fails within that region, then your application stays up. Pretty same, pretty similar concept. What we want to think about is what's the secondary location at which we have just in case this entire region fails? This is where we need to think about what it is our business objective is. Is our business objective for our business continuality because disaster recovery is just a subset of business continuality. What is the business risk or the environmental risk that we're trying to protect against? Are we trying to protect against Amazon's physical region going down, which is a technical 
concern and that could be amongst the list of things that we want to protect against or are we trying to protect against Amazon going down meaning Amazon itself not being available for whatever reason the company goes out of business there's a business dispute and you and Amazon shuts down your systems or you need to evacuate your data out of AWS as soon as possible so based on that you have two options you can go to another region within AWS so right now we have our primary data center as the VA uh, Virginia data center and then we might uh, decide to do Oregon as our secondary region within the AWS network we can use the same basic technologies we can do objects uh, 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 EC2 instances in Oregon that mimic our EC2 images in, in uh, Virginia we can do object store S3 replication from one uh, availability zone or one region to another region or we can go completely off the beaten trail and say that we're making a business decision to protect against Amazon's environment in, in general and choose to go to Oregon in, in something like Azure. That is much more complicated from just a technical and cost perspective than doing this, but offers additional protection. So this, the picture looks a lot similar to our original picture when we're doing physical data center replication. We can now do storage type replication, which there's appliances that allow us to do this. I think one example is Rubrik will let you back up into you know S3 format and then then Chris Wall will correct me if I'm wrong and then back up into Azure. There's several products that will allow, allow you to do storage based replication from one uh, service provider to a different service provider to give you that service provider level protection. And then you can also do it in the application. You can just build your application and say that, you know what, replicate data from this target to another target. So you have a set of uh, instances. Let's say you have Windows instances running in Amazon and Virginia East, and you have equivalent images, of course, different underlying infrastructure running in Azure and you just provide IP connectivity between the two and they, you replicate data in between. So DR doesn't go away just because you have cloud. You, we can't outsource the responsibility of business continuality to our cloud provider. That's still a core account, accountable, accountability perspective that's a responsibility upon your existing IT team. We have to figure out how we're going to reach the business objective of either protecting against the business relationship or systems within a cloud provider failing and ensuring that we have the appropriate risk mitigation, whether it's going to another cloud provider or going within the same cloud provider to offer some level of high availability or durability to our data. That's it for this CTO Daily Dose. Follow me on the web at CTO Advisor. The website is www.thectoadvisor.com where you can find the blog, these videos, and as well as the podcast. Talk to you guys in tomorrow's Daily Dose.